Hello everybody, it's Katasha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you um, how to get salon quality nails at home. This video is going to be different, so bear with me. So here we have, um, I'm going to be using the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. This is what I received in the mail. This is the uh, long coffin kit. We have the prep, the primer, the builder, and also the top coat. Comes with it is this gorgeous um, flash cure LED lamp, which I will be taking it out. As you can see, it's brand new. And here are the jelly tips. And I just spent time sizing. I just need to do my middle finger. And I'll have my correct sizes. Um, this is what it. Oops. Uh, what size is this? So I can show you what it looked like. This is what it's looking like. I think this is a size five. See what that said? Hmm. It was like a size six or something, so it looks like it belongs or nine, so it belongs there. And I don't have any gel polish, so I also pick these. Um, let me put this back down. I also picked up um, I picked up the gel polish because I don't have any gel polish and the color I, the color looks completely different on the box than it do it's old fudge right see look at this old fudge right look at the color now look at it when I take it out the thing see it's like a completely different color so um this is the only one I got besides the glitter one. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the glitter one and it's either all my nails going to be glitter or I have to deal with that color. I really don't want to like that color because I'm looking for something nude. So I'm going to probably have to end up getting their, um, their nude collection. It comes in the collection. It comes in both the gel polish and the nail lacquer so you can be able to match it with your toes um yeah so once i finish sizing up my nails i'm going to um see if i can bring the camera over this way so you can see what i'm gonna be doing better lighting so once I finish up sizing my um my nails up and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply them I've watched the um let me show you long hair pretty nails I'm subscribed to her channel and this is where I even um this is where I first saw this set at so um, let's see. This is the intro to the Hair Pretty Nation. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be testing out the new Kiara Sky Jelly Tips Starter Kit. So this is what the kit looks like. You get this big box and then you get the LED flash cure lamp which is so cute um, so I watched her video and this is what made me decide to buy the kit so we're gonna try it um, this is gonna be my first time ever doing these types of tips or jelly tips or just doing nails at home period similar to this I have did acrylic nails before but I don't know how to work with acrylic I'm not a professional I ended up damaging my nails like really really bad they healed now of course but I've damaged my nails really really bad uh, with acrylic because I had no idea what I was doing 
no idea what I was doing and plus the monomer smell was just too much for me to handle. So per usual, my battery is about to go dead as always. So what I'm gonna do is just charge my battery up and finish finding my middle finger. And then once everything, once my battery is charged up, I will come back on and I will show you the process of applying. Um, I will show you the process of applying the tips and just hopefully they turn out well, right? In the meantime, I might go to the store to see if I can find like a different um, new gel polish because I really do not like um, this color at least not right now um, I was looking for the color that's like this nude like this color unfortunately it's not the color that's inside the bottle so I might have to invest in the nail lacquer um, I mean the nude collection that they have on their website so yeah I will be back okay so what I'm doing here is unboxing my um drill it's a nail drill i picked up from amazon i purchased it for like maybe 30 to 40 dollars or something like that and i've also purchased the cuticle cleaning bit that i'm using it's the ball head one i think three of them came in a pack so what i'm doing right now is just removing that dead skin um away from my cuticles and I will recommend doing this regardless um, whether you're applying on fake nails the jelly nails um, acrylic nails or if you just want a manicure and to paint your nails clear or however you you know choose to wear your nails I had some issues <laughs> with my um, camera holding it in the correct position so yeah um, so again, I'm just cleaning up, well, getting rid of the dead skin that's around my cuticles. I did not get a cuticle pusher. Um, keep in mind, I'm at a hotel and I was actually out of town. And the only thing that I brought with me was the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Set, which only came with what you've seen in a box, which was the prep, the primer, the, the dehydrator, um and the top coat the tips and also the lamp and I just brought my nail drill and also the cuticle bits I for some reason did not have any fingernail polish remover um yeah I can't believe I forgot that out of everything that I needed I did not like the finished product as you will see here soon once the video um, comes to an end and that's just because the way I painted my um, nails. This was my first time working with gel polish. Um, and another thing that I didn't do that you are supposed to do is you're supposed to buff the shine off the nails prior to using gel polish on your nails. So, and the way that I painted it, I just wouldn't recommend doing it at all. Again, this is my first attempt, my first try of doing this and I did not follow the instructions like I should so if you do try this if you do use this um, if you do plan on using this product I recommend that you um, buff the shine off the nails prior to using gel polish or whatever polish you're going to use so that it can stick on there yeah so that's um, one thing I would recommend as of now, I'm probably recording this like a week later and I took all my nails off. And that's just because I did not know because I wanted to change out the color. Um, and I did not know that <laughs> I can't use acetone to take off the color. Because if I use acetone to take off the color, um, I'm going to take off the whole nail completely because there are the jelly tips soak off nails. So one thing I do like about these nails that they do come off easily with acetone now. Um, some of them did pop off and that's just because I did not put them on correctly. Um, I believe it's an error. It's a mistake on my end. Like I said, I'm not a professional. This was my first attempt, my first time trying these nails, jelly nails. And the ones that did last, I could say that... Um, they lasted as though as though as though they were acrylic nails. Um so yeah, I believe two popped off when I was at the airport and 
just getting the remainder gel off it. I just had to just soak it in some acetone. And I just soaked my nails in acetone in order to, to remove them. And then I would use the nail gel to file the rest of it off. It was real simple. It was easy to do. My nails weren't damaged. Normally when I wear acrylic nails or use acrylic nails or take acrylic nails off, my nails become damaged. And I got tired of that. I mean, I got tired of my nails ripping off to the meat. It will bleed and I will have to sit up there and wait for them to grow back. So this is a perfect alternative to those of you who do not like acrylic nails. Um, I was tired of going to the nail shop to get it done every two weeks, paying $50. So this set is pretty expensive. Um, it is $100, but... I have like, I'm not for sure how long this kit will last. I'm pretty sure it will last for a while. So uh, within a month's visit of, um, you paying for a month's visit going to the nail salon for probably like a, you're trading that in for a lifetime supply of just doing the nails yourself and doing them at home with this kit. So I would recommend the investment, um, so right now what I'm doing is just using the nail cuticle clean bit to etch inside of the inside of the nails. You do have to do this in order for them to give them something to stick to. Um, and then again, you also have to do that as well. So I wouldn't recommend right now I'm taking that cuticle bit and I'm putting it on my natural nails and I do sorry I am sorry that I am out of focus. But I would not recommend doing that because it did burn when I put the glue on there and put it up on an LED lamp that they have. Um, I don't recommend doing that. Like I said, that's the only thing I had with me at the time. Uh, what I end up doing with the rest of the nails, I did bring like a hand nail fodge. I guess I just didn't have it there. But what I did with the rest of my nails is just use the hand file to, um, you know, file the shine off my nails. But I wouldn't recommend using that cuticle bit on the natural nail. And even the way I was cleaning my cuticles, you're really not supposed to do it that way. Again, like I said, I am not a professional. Um, I'm still learning in the process of learning. And over time, I plan to get better. I plan on getting better. I can only get better as time as um as I continue to do more of the sets. So here I am applying the builder gel, and I would do recommend I put way too much of the builder gel on my nail and also inside the nail. I should have wiped off some other product as I was taking it out of the bottle that I didn't do so I would recommend you using less product is more um when it comes to using that builder gel because once I put the nail the actual jelly tips on my nail like I can just see all of that the jelly the gel oozing out of the nail to the point where it cured up under the nail and it was so much of it that I had to go back with that drill and drill it off so I use way too much of that gel so all you really do need is the yeah, I see I double dipped and I really did not need to do that so um yeah so I'd recommend just using a thin layer um, and I did watch a couple of YouTube videos prior to even doing it. Like, as you can see, the first one I watched was the long hair, pretty nails, um, video. I watched her video and I watched a couple more, um, a couple of different other people videos about how to apply these nails and all of them first, they took the shine from their natural nails. They first applied the gel to their natural nails and cured it. And then they would apply the gel to the inside of the tips and apply it and then cure it so as I was going through the process I've noticed like applying the gel to my natural nails and curing it and then applying gel again to the nail and curing it I thought it was just too much for me um, I figured that I didn't need it maybe that's why I went wrong at why the other two nails popped off I'm not for sure but I do plan on um, doing this again and I might record it Again, just to, so you can just see the process again, if that's something that you want me to do. So, um, yeah, so I did do my thumbnail. Um, and I think that's the only nail that came out perfect that I like, even the gel polish. Um, so, yeah, what I'm taking the cuticle, I was taking the cuticle 
um, bit remover and I'm just removing some of that excess gel. Right now, what I'm doing is just, again, taking the cuticle bit and just drilling inside of the nail to roughen it up the surfaces so that it can stick. Um, at first, I just was going to pick up each nail and do it separately, just sketch it put the gel on there and cure it. But I was just like, no, I need to work smart, not harder. I don't want to be doing this all day. So I just ended up just doing all of them at one time. Um, so yeah. Yeah, see, that's just way too much um, gel that I'm putting in there. You only need like less extremely less than that so and I even seen where some people in their videos <coughs> excuse me but I even seen that even some people in their videos um they even with the gel even with the jelly tips they would apply even more gel um on top of the nail so I didn't think that was necessary because I actually think these nails held up because um, I do consider myself to be a heavy handed person. Um, I don't like my nails too thin and I don't like my nails too thick and I feel as though the jelly tips are the perfect thickness personally for me. Um, like I said, I do consider myself to be heavy handed. Um, I do a lot of things with my hands, <laughs> obviously, and I even like made a mistake and hit my hand on something and I just looked at my nail like, oh crap, and it was still there, aside for the two that popped off. So I don't think that is necessary, <clears throat> but if you are a nail person and you do your own nails, then, you know, I mean, I think that was just adding on additional work. And the whole purpose of this set is to be nice, quick, simple, and easy, which I do enjoy. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did have acrylic nails before I bought the Mia Sky acrylic set. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that set. It set. It's just that I'm not familiar with acrylic. I have no idea how to use acrylic. Um, and I did not have necessarily have time to teach myself how to use acrylic. Um, so yeah, that's just me doing my hand. Um, and this is just the final product, as you can see. Um, I don't like it just because of the way I painted it, but yeah. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon.